Let's travel back in time to the Gilded Age and discover the most splendid old money mansions in Berkshire, where opulence and luxury were taken to new heights. During the Gilded Age, Berkshire was home to some of the wealthiest families in America, who built opulent mansions that reflected their wealth, status, and taste. On number four, we have Mount. The Mount is a magnificent home in Lenox, Massachusetts, and one of the most important historic estates in the Berkshires. The estate, which was built in 1902 for renowned American novelist Edith Wharton, includes gorgeous Georgian revival architecture and is surrounded by 50 acres of lovely gardens and forests. The interiors of the home are as magnificent, with excellent art and antiques throughout, including pieces by Joshua Reynolds and Gilbert Stewart. A stable, a greenhouse, and a gatehouse are among the structures on the estate. The house and grounds were created by Edith Wharton herself, and the site served as her home and the inspiration for many of her writings, including the novels The House of Mirth and Ethan Frome. Up next, we have Bellefontaine Mansion. Bellefontaine Estate is a historic estate in Pasadena, California, and is regarded as one of the state's most stunning old money mansions. The estate was built in the early 20th century for railroad magnate Henry E. Huntington, and is surrounded by gorgeous gardens and lawns. The interiors of the home are stunning, with sumptuous furniture and decor throughout, including a big ballroom, a library, and a formal dining room. A carriage house and a greenhouse are among the structures on the estate. Following Huntington's death, the home was utilized for a variety of purposes, including the school and a hospital before being restored to its former splendor and made available to the public for tours and events. Moving forward, we have Ventfort Hall. Ventfort Hall was one of the most opulent Gilded Age Berkshire houses to be constructed, costing $900,000 when completed. In 1893, the palace was created by famed architects Roch and Tilden for George and Sarah Morgan, Morgan's sister. The Jacobean style home, described as one of the most magnificent sites in Lenox, with nine main bedrooms and ten servants' bedrooms, seven baths, and 17 fireplaces, totaling 28,000 square feet of living area. Ventfort Hall, which now sits on 11.7 acres, was once at the heart of a vast 26-acre garden. Following the Morgans' deaths, the mansion was briefly leased to Margaret Vanderbilt, whose husband, Alfred Gwynne Vanderbilt, had perished aboard the Lusitania. The house changed ownership many times after 1945, serving as a dormitory for Tanglewood music students, a summer hotel, the Michael Fokine Ballet Summer Camp, and communal housing for the evangelical group The Bible Speaks. From 1991 until 1997, the mansion was severely damaged by a nursing home developer who intended to destroy it. The Ventfort Hall Association, a non-profit local preservation organization, was formed in 1997 to rebuild the house. On number one we have Blantyre. The Blantyre Resort, now a magnificent resort, hotel, and spa that offers a variety of events and weddings, goes back to the late 1890s when Sloan brought Robert Paterson to the Lenox region. Paterson first purchased 220 acres known as Hylowan, which was home to the Dorr family. Paterson destroyed the little estate to build his home, which was to be nothing less than a castle with feudal architectural features, such as towers, turrets, and gargoyles. The architect Robert Henderson Robertson created the house, which was inspired by Paterson's mother's family home in Blantyre. The opulent palace was decorated in the English style, with all furnishings imported from England and construction started in 1901. Over the following 15 to 20 years, Bantire was actively utilized for garden parties and large dinners, complete with New York City musicians and extravagant foods befitting the Gilded Age. The golden period of the Blantyre House ended with the end of the Gilded Period and the introduction of the income tax. We hope you enjoyed learning about the fascinating history and architecture of these magnificent homes, and that you are now inspired to visit Berkshire and experience their grandeur for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, happy exploring!